Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Well, let's make something super simple, super quick, and super awesome. Y'all stay tuned. I have been making items using six by six pieces of paper because I know a lot of you have bunches of six by six paper in your stash. I don't have a whole lot of it because I tend to use 12 by 12 um, pieces of paper and cut it down to whatever size I need. But I know that a lot of you do have six by sixes and today's project is going to be another six by six project. So let me bring it in and show you what it is. It is super adorable, super quick, and oh so easy. Aren't these the prettiest little things? And they are very simple gift card holders made using envelopes covered with six by six pieces of paper cut down to size. So I'll show you the back side. And this one is just like that one with just a different embellishment. So stinking cute. I absolutely love these and I finished the inside as well as the outside. So this one, I used a masculine themed paper and as you can see, there is a gift card tucked inside and the inside again is nice and finished, very cute, very easy, very functional. And then this one, I love it with all of the pretty girls on the front. So let's get started on making these and I'll show you how I did it. So I am starting with a five by seven envelope and all I'm going to do is cut that down to size. I'm going to cut it in half. So once we have it cut down to size, we can start uh, working on this. And before I actually cut it, I made sure that it was completely sealed so that when I cut it, my seal flap is laying down flat. So we are going to bring in four pieces of three and five eighths by five paper. And this size works with a five by seven envelope cut in half. If you are using another size envelope, you'll need to adjust your measurements to fit that size envelope. But I'm starting with the five by seven. So my four pieces measure three and five eighths by five because I want a little bit of a white border around these. And I am using this gorgeous Halloween themed paper from Anna Griffin and it is covered on both sides and it is so beautiful. So what I'm making today is a Halloween themed envelope and I know not everyone celebrates Halloween but we do have a very large percentage of our online family that do. So I am going to craft that in this theme but as always you can certainly use any paper that you want and theme it however you need it to look for you. So I'm going to show you a process and then how you take it and modify it it's completely up to you. All right, so what I did was I ran my four pieces through my Xyron sticker maker so that I could get adhesive on the back because for me, a project like this needs to go very, very quickly. So I am going to use the actual spiderweb paper on the front and the back. And I'm just gonna try to get it down nice and straight, just like that. And then I'll flip this over and I'm going to pull up my next piece and I'll put it down trying to get it straight just like I did the other one. All right, so once we have the front and back covered, I am going to take another one of my three and five eighths by five inch pieces and I will slide it down on the inside. It's already covered and adhesive, so I just need to get it slid down on the inside nice and tight just like that and I'll come back with my bone folder and get that stuck down and then I'll do it with the other one so I'm going to take it off of my adhesive sheet move this out of the way and then I'll bring this in on this side and I'm going to open this up and then I'll just slide it down in just like that. And I'll come back with my bone folder 
and get this stuck down. And now we have the makings of a very cute gift card holder. And now what I want to do is bring in a topper piece and this piece measures one by five and a quarter. And I'm simply going to score it because I want a 3 8 inch border on the front. So I'm scoring at 3 8 And then I am going to just burnish my scores. And before I place glue on this, I am going to take this and make sure that it's going to fit down inside without any problems. And if it is a little bit snug, I'm simply going to come back and angle cut the piece that'll go down on the inside. And I'll go ahead and do that on both of these. And then I'll take my glue and I'm simply going to place glue on this and put it down. And the paper that I'm using is from Anna Griffin's um, 2019 Halloween collection. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so once I've got it down on the inside, I am going to come back with my bone folder, get the outside nice and stuck, and then I'll take my bone folder, go on the inside, and get that stuck down. And that just finishes off the top very nicely. So I'll do the same thing here. And now we get to do the fun stuff. We get to decorate. So I am going to take this sticker that says, Happy Halloween, my ghoul friend. And I am going to mount that right here on this Edgar Allan Poe little um, library card. Then I'm going to peel off the back and just kind of offset this at an angle. Okay, so this is what I have so far. And I think what I want to do is just make a little ribbon bow. I have some beautiful thin black ribbon that I think is perfect for this. So all I'm doing is wrapping it around three fingers. And then when I get to this point where I've got a tail, I am simply going to take it off of my fingers, pinch it in the middle, wrap this around twice, and then I'll bring my tail through the second little loop and I'll pull it closed just like this. And I think I have a fun and ghoulish little bow. So I am going to take some glue and put some glue right there. And then I'll take my bow and just put it in that glue. Kind of let that hang down. Cute, cute, cute. So then I want to take this cute little owl sticker and I'm gonna place him right there because I think he's cute. And then the last thing that I want to do is I want to come back with one of my flat back pearls and I am going to put just a drop of hot glue right there. I'm going to come in and pull out a pearl that I think is going to work on this and I'm going to go with black. So I'm going to take that black pearl and just drop it right there. And then finally what I think I want to do is I just want to add some black flat back pearls. I think they're just going to give this a little bit more interest. So I'm going to add a little more glue than I just put down because I think I need a little more. I'm going to come in, pick up my pearls, and put them down. Get them nice and stuck. And there, we have a very sweet, but simple, little Halloween gift card holder. Or, if you know someone who has a Halloween birthday, perfect for that as well. Or, like I said, swap out the papers, and you can make this for any reason. Does not have to be for Halloween. Does not have to be for a birthday. 
it can be a just because. But these are super simple to make and so much fun. These are great for craft for selling. Bundle two to three in a pack. I am not going to do any price points on this because you guys can figure that out. You know what you want to make on the items that you're selling. These are also great as stocking stuffers. Put some gift cards or money down inside and drop it in the stocking. Perfect for all occasions. So I hope that you guys have liked this project and if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.